This is one of the most important features in combining a class notebook in OneNote and Microsoft Teams assignments. So I'm going to create a template, an essay template in a teacher only section of the class notebook so that the students can't see it until I'm ready to publish it. I do all of the things in that template page that I want the pupils to be able to see when they come to do their activity and I like to use to do tags and so on and then I create an assignment in exactly the way I normally would on Microsoft Teams. I put in all the fields, I add in my tags and my categories and my deadlines for that activity but the most important feature to join in the class notebook page is to select that template from the section in the teacher only section in the class notebook. And once you've selected it, effectively what you're doing is getting it ready to distribute to each student their own personal editable copy. And now you get to choose exactly where you want to distribute that to for the students. So I've chosen a new assignment section in each student section of the class notebook and I fill out the last deadline and so on and once I've pressed assign that page is distributed to each of the students in their own section so they can go in here and they can click into their own version and this is where they can type they can add in uh, a word document or a PDF they can print and they can insert any files including photos from their phone and that becomes the place where they uh, put their work in and then they turn it in in OneNote. So once you've got used to the basics, you're ready to go on and start to make the OneNote a bit more interesting and exciting. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating lots of different graphics and I'm putting in videos using Flipgrid and Animoji to explain the work to the students. I'm using lots of to-do tags in order for the students to be able to self-assess their work and I'm able to give them extra instructions in the body of that OneNote page before I select it and distribute it to the students. So you can have a chance to uh, try and develop your own and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do share it with a colleague. 